What's up fellow hunters, Nox here, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna talk switch axe. Comfortable sets, fun sets, meta sets. Six builds for you guys and some tips on how to adjust them for yourself coming up. Before we jump in, all builds come with evade extender level 2 for that smooth mobility increase and one level of flinch free so we don't get tripped by our teammates. We're also going to be going for as many levels of rapid morph as we can fit in. This adds a nice DPS boost and even more smoothness to the switch axe. Let's go! We're going to start off with one of my favorite builds, the Devil's Razor. We're using kind of a hidden gem here, the Volvedon switch axe. I hardly see anyone use this and it's absolutely amazing. Don't get discouraged if you don't have a similar talisman. This build is super easy to adjust. You can get all of the essential skills for this build by using a talisman that only has two level 2 slots and dropping the extra level of evasion. We have 210 attack due to our rampage boost and 16 paralysis, which works deceptively well because we also have an elemental file. This build will dish out high end damage while at the same time being able to paralyze anything you fight at least twice and handling super comfortably thanks to full protective polish level 3 along with level 3 speed sharpening as well as a bunch of extra skills that focus on keeping you in the fight and on the monster. Plus, your fellow hunters will appreciate you paralyzing some of the more jumpy monsters that move all over the place 24-7. This is a ton of fun to use. We're gonna see a trend in the skills in these builds, as the essentials will mostly remain the same to provide the best damage output. Next up is the Monster Bane X, a very simple, heavy raw focus damage build. Our weapon of choice here is the final version of the Rampage Switch Axe. We customize the Rampage slots with Sharpness Type 1, Non-Elemental Boost and Affinity Surge. This gives us 210 attack, white sharpness when using Handicraft Level 1, 20% affinity and a power file. This build will hit like a truck thanks to the combination of white sharpness, 100% affinity on weak spots and having a power file. We have Protective Polish Level 2 plus 3 levels of speed sharpening to stay at white sharpness for one full minute. For the Talisman, only having one level 2 slot on it instead of two will work just fine. You're only going to lose one level of Rapid Morph. That said, Rapid Morph Talismans do seem to be quite common, so you might have something similar or even better. And of course, we have the awesome benefit of changing the look of this weapon into whatever we like. I went for the Remover design, because I just love how unique it is. Let me know which layered weapon skin you guys would pick. There are a lot of really nice ones. The Detonator. If you like explosions, this one's for you. This build really surprised me when I ran some tests. We're using the Teostra's Castle. 210 attack, 36 blast, an elemental file, and the Teostra's Soul Rampage skill which boosts blast damage. Plus, we get a free level 2 slot on top. The synergy here is pretty crazy. We have the high blast element, an elemental file to boost it even further, and the Teostra blessing from the armor which makes blasts go off faster. So basically, this thing is a very sharp axe made out of dynamite. Having that extra level 2 slot on the weapon makes this build even easier to adjust than the last one which used the same talisman. Also making it easy to fit in skills if you choose to switch it up. And gotta hand it to the designers on doing an amazing job on the weapon design here. I love the attention to detail. This one is literally a blast to use. Now we'll get into some super comfortable builds. The Primal Instinct. This one is all about that caveman style raw damage. We're using the Grand Chaos which has a ridiculous 240 attack, massive green sharpness, minus 7 affinity, a plus 15 defense bonus, a level 1 slot and an exhaust file with 16 exhaust damage. This thing hits for some nasty numbers and the exhaust file will allow you to KO monsters if you consistently hit the head. The synergy in this build comes from using the bludgeoner skill. It gives us a flat 10% increase to our attack while having green sharpness. And with the green sharpness this long, that means we hardly ever have to sharpen. The build does come with speed sharpening level 3 in case we do need it, but I personally go for full stun resistance instead of that. For the talisman, you can use a bludgeoner level 2 with two level 2 slots, which is very common. You'll only lose one level of rapid morph. We cranked up the affinity as high as possible, but if you ever feel like you want or need more affinity, I highly recommend bringing a fighter pelico. They can give you an extra 30% affinity for free when they use the rousing roar ability. So definitely keep that in mind. Next on the list is our second super comfy build. The Dragon Song. We're using the Abyssal Gale, which is the final upgrade of the Ibushi Switch Axe. This thing will demolish anything that has a weakness to Dragon Element. But the High Raw and the Power File here also make it very viable for other monsters. 210 attack, massive blue sharpness, 24 Dragon Element due to our Rampage skill, and a Power File. The sharpness on this thing is so long that like the previous build, you can totally drop the speed sharpening for something else if you like. You won't be sharpening much. For example, you could push this to full dragon attack level 5 if you wanted to. Which brings us to our talisman. 
I have quite a convenient one here, but just like previously, you don't need to have a similar talisman to make this build. The two evasion decorations in this build give us a lot of room to adjust, and means that any talisman with only two level 2 slots will get you all the essential skills. And the weapon design here is phenomenal again. I'm sure some of you already expected this, a build using the Tiger X Switch Axe, the Tiger Claw build. We have a super high 228 attack due to our Rampage skill, natural white sharpness, minus 20% affinity, and an exhaust file with 24 exhaust damage. As usual, Tigrex weapon builds don't need very much explaining. It's raw power and lots of it. This is the one-stop shopping to go ham town. Very similar to the Monster Bane X with the difference of having an exhaust file instead of a power file. So keep in mind that we can KO monsters with this thing. For the Talisman, we can drop a level of Rapid Morph again if needed. Or of course, switch it out for something else entirely if we like. And again, remember to bring a Fighter Pelico if you want to boost your affinity by an extra 30%. If you haven't seen the Longsword and Hammer build video on the channel yet, I highly recommend giving them a watch. You might find something you like. There are so many more great switch axes. Like the Nargakuga, the Daora, the Valstrex, or the Narwa switch axe for example. So many that it might call for a second video. Let me know if you guys want to see that happen. If you enjoyed this kind of content and tips on everything Monster Hunter related, hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more. Share the information with our fellow hunters and leave any form of feedback you have for me in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, take care, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.